Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and with so much Super Nintendo World coverage here in Hollywood with its soft opening. I haven't been able to do an Epic Universe update so now we're back with a fresh new Epic Universe update from the wonderful Bio Reconstruct as always. He just posted these photos a couple of days ago like literally yesterday so it's very fresh right out of the oven. And right now we have an overlook of the entire site. The massive site, and I mean, you can see a lot of this stuff forming right now. You can easily see the pond, the fountain, and the hub. You can see the classic monsters area, Super Nintendo World, all these shopings starting to be fully framed, looking like warehouses now. And then they put the theming, and the facades are starting to go up. It's looking real, real nice. And I can't wait to dive into each land today with you, and including the hub, to see what we can see, what is changing, and uh, what is progressing. The whole thing is pretty rapidly. All right, so the first area we're moving on to is the classic monsters area, and here's an overview of that area. You can see the massive show building to the bottom. That is the e-ticket attraction. That's going to be the have the forbidden journey-like ride system. Thing to Frankenstein's castle or Dracula. I think it's yeah, Frankenstein's castle, where all the monsters will be let out and attacking you. Then we'll do a deeper dive into the roller coaster, which almost all of its track has been put up now. So that is cool. And they'll even have a kind of a rumor to have a shuttle element. So we'll get into that as well. You can see the village, the two buildings to the left, the small buildings by the portal. Those are going to be the entrance village to the whole land. Then there's some structures in the hub that will are not part of the land, but there's a restaurant and a gift shop that are just outside the land. We'll get into those as well. So let's let's start off with this e-ticket attraction. You can see a lot of the um, the sound works or the scaffolding is up, but again that blue drywall type um, stuff that we saw for Super Nintendo World here in Hollywood is now up. You know, after that is actual facade work, which is awesome. So in the next few weeks that the scaffolding should be coming down and facades revealed just like what's happening over at the harry potter area and we'll be looking at that right now looking at a close look at the village so there is the portal entrance portal and it's gonna have a kind of a they call it a weenie which is like a landmark something to draw your attention to the land each portal will have that um this one will have uh something classic monstery above and you can see that steel structure for that happening right now there the two villages uh two buildings for the village and it looks like it'll probably be a home of connected shops and maybe a restaurant and uh those two buildings and you can see the facade the steel for the facade work starting to pop up for that right now which would be cool and it's kind of a small area actually because you pop out into the village and then when you're done with the village, you see the roller coaster track is right there, and the e-ticket attraction is right there. Speaking of roller coaster track, here is the station, which look, looks quite nice. The concrete building to the left is the maintenance bay. You can see the piece of track sticking up where that yellow arrow is. That is going into the maintenance bay. But the curved or the, the sloped roof-like structure looks like a, like a house. That is the station. The main station unload and load station for this main attraction or for this roller coaster type attraction here on the classic monsters. So now that most of the tracks in place for this attraction, we can kind of see the layout. This attraction actually will have a track length that is shorter than Flight of the Hippogriff at the Wizarding World areas of the parks, but the ride time should be longer with that shuttle element. And there's a better picture where it gets you that shows you that shuttle element, but. There'll be uh, a scene too, which is where that yellow arrow is, and there'll be some type of barn or house structure that is being constructed. You can see the steel there, and that is where that shuttle element is going to go. You come out of the station, and you're going to launch immediately up a small hill, and you're going to go over a couple of high banked turns there, where you'll undoubtedly be spinning quite a bit, and then you're going to go in that typical intimate mock style a little shuttle inversion so it's gonna do what icebreaker does where you know you'll get like a small launch but it won't make it up that high bang turn that very tall one you know, and you'll bounce all the way back and then you'll 
go through it again, kind of a back, like a seesaw type of launch. And then you'll be finishing the, um, the, the track layout there. And there might be a show scene inside that barn, I'm not too sure yet. But this is actually the Epic Universe entrance right over here. Large entrance gate, and I'm sure exit gate here. And there's a, you can see a little kind of a pathway, a roadway, making some definition down on the bottom there below. Um, I'm sure they'll have the iconic Universal Arch, I'm sure. And plenty more, but yeah, uh, it's the first time we really saw the entrance really start to take shape. Uh, and yeah, it looks like it looks great, it looks huge, and I can't wait for it to be finished. Looking over this area, so this is the Helio Hotel. Still slow to go there, but you can see the massive cranes there uh, filming that. You can more to find kind of semi arch shape there. That is where the Helios Hotel is going. The fountain, though, in front of it, to the left of it, is just about fully complete, which is fantastic. Up above it is the classic monsters area we just explored, and below it is the Harry Potter area. But yeah, the other hotel, which we'll get to in a second, is much, much further along. That's being used with prefab concrete, and this is the St Star Luna, I think is the rumor name for it. There's like Terra Luna and Star Nova, some spacey name, but look at how far along it's gone. Um, these are being built off site, these rooms and these floors, and just being stacked in like Legos. And now we see the like the sections, the defined sections, I'll put an arrow see those little sections of where it's being built and they're stacking them like like tetris blocks or legos and it's a much faster way of construction it's the pre prefab construction they do it in buildings all around the world and in the u.s so i'm glad to see it's being used here because yeah it's just cruising along moving to the harry potter area you can see a lot has been going on with those villages and again the there narrow walkways that the wizarding world is known for the e-ticket attraction is looking fantastic and i'm sure a lot of animatronics and track work and stuff is already going on inside the main show building and they're almost they're done with the exterior of the main show building so there's lots of facade work coming up for the villages and what was rumored to be the arc day triumph is uh, has a little steel structure support there put an arrow up there but yeah lots of um shops and steel for the shops and restaurants there's a big gap to the left of the shop that the uh the fiction that's where that room and second attraction was gonna go the vr broomstick attraction but that got cut thankfully because it didn't sound like too good of a ride and that could be that spot could be safe for something much much better than a rumored vr attraction looking at these facades they look fantastic i mean look now they even have some color on them from the last time we saw them the Roof looks great. Again, looks very Parisian. Because um, remember, you'll be in the rumor has it you'll be in the Parisian area. Then you'll use the flu network to get back to London, and the flu you'll use the flu network in the queue to get back to London for the attraction. Then you'll be back out in Paris afterwards. And looks very Parisian. I love it. I'm excited to see the Paris Paris version of the Wizarding World. Uh, Looks like I'm excited to explore that area as well. Moving on to How to Train Your Dragon, you can see the massive launch and hill for the coaster. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon coaster is right there, and you can see some Starfall Racers action as well as the left. We'll get to that in a separate section. But the big concrete area that is going to be a massive pond where the coaster will go under, go in a tunnel under that, and it'll be a nice area with some statues in there. That'll be the entrance to the land as well. Um, this is going to be the biggest land in the park, and it looks absolutely fantastic. There, there's the Great Hall right in the center. That will be a massive restaurant and look just like the Great Hall from the movies. I've actually never seen any of the How to Train Your Dragon movies, so I'll have to watch this before 2025 to know what I'm seeing here. But there's the maintenance bay for the uh, coaster attraction and the final break run leading into the station. We'll have some deeper views into that, but... In the lower corner of the picture there, uh, you can see the stage for the massive theater show, 900 seat theater, is being constructed. This Not the stage, but the seating. See that area in yellow? The area, seating area is being dug out, and it looks more defined, more and more defined each and every 
uh, video, which is great. Uh, this thing is really progressing along. It's absolutely incredible how fast they do this stuff. How fast, how fast Universal does this stuff. Looking at the maintenance bay in the, for the coaster attraction again, uh, a lot of the track is covered because they don't want to get it dusty and dirty. But yeah, there's uh, the maintenance bay is up to the top of the photo. The bottom is a gift shop, I believe, a gift shop or restaurant for the How to Train Your Dragon area or in the hub. And here's a much closer look at that theater. Again, 900 seat theater a show similar to the uh, similar or the same as the untrainable show from Beijing is rumored to come here and it's a big enough show for uh, theater for it. Uh, that show is absolutely fantastic from what I heard. And yeah, you can see the massive stadium seating starting to form and we'll see this covered up I'm sure in the coming weeks and months. And then lastly for the How to Train Your Dragon area we're going to go and check out some of these statues that are rumored to be built here. Permits indicate that two statues are going to be built in this pond here. And it'll greet you as you come you know, into the land. It'll be an entrance as you come into their world. Again, I haven't seen How to Train Your Dragon, so I'm not sure what the world is called. But I'll get the name for next time. But yeah, uh, this area looks highly immersive and I cannot, cannot wait to go visit myself. When it opens, guess what? In just two years, it is already 2023. That is insane to me. Insane that it's going to open by the summer of 2025. Moving on to the hub, you can see a close look at the fountain area here. It's going to room to be a nice show, World of Color or Universal Celebration type show. Um, it has 360 degree seating. And then you'll have a view of the fireworks show that will be popping up over the hotel as well so this will be a prime spot for some nighttime entertainment and daytime entertainment at the resort moving else along in the hub we'll see lots of various structures and buildings this will be a restaurant that is being formed here you see super nintendo world over to the left over there um, we'll get to that in a future clip but yeah some restaurants and a couple of rides and lots of walking paths and ponds here in the pond the and the hub the hub will look absolutely beautiful as a wonderful city walk type central location with a couple of rides so i like this i cannot wait to see how this shapes out coming up in the future this is the rumored moon pie restaurant by the classic monsters there you can see the uh on the top corner there the coaster track and the village of classic monsters but yeah this will be rumored named moon pie and it's a pizza restaurant but you know space themed and this looks to be a couple stories, so this will be one of the bigger restaurants in the hub, but not the biggest, but this will be one of the bigger ones, so it should be a nice place to dine out uh, while you're waiting to get into Classic Monsters area. And here is one of the two rides in the hub area, just below the fountain, you can see up top, this is the rumored mock spinning attraction. Now, it could have some water to it, or it could just be the carousel attraction. Um, not sure what it is yet, but it's like they can be like a spinning water carousel attraction type of ordeal. This will have a glass dome structure on top of it, and it will be located right above the central pond, which will be bright, gorgeous views. Moving on to Super Nintendo World, you can see it looks absolutely fantastic and pretty compact. As always, here's an overview of the land. Donkey Kong, the track is just should be just about complete by now. Yeah, Yoshi attraction, you can see the red track that's been complete for a while. And now they're working on the various aspects of the Mushroom Kingdom, as Donkey Kong Country won't have too much um, yeah, to work on um, in terms of buildings and stuff. That's more of the Mushroom Kingdom. And yeah, it looks just fantastic. Here is actually an area from the hub of what will be some restaurants or backstage buildings in the hub. And yeah, the, 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 but you can see the donkey or uh, Mario Kart show building right over there to the left, and the second level, the first and second levels of the Mushroom Kingdom. Close look in the Donkey Kong area, the track is again fully complete. The rest of that will be walking area and mini games, additional mini games, as well as some snack and beverage carts. And 
we have uh yeah, I just cannot wait for this ride. There's a massive indoor show scene right there. A couple of show scenes, including the load and lun unload area to the right. Mario, Mario Kart Show brings to the north of that. And then, of course, Yoshi's Adventures in the yellow track to the left. Moving closer into Super Nintendo World, we have a lot of the... You can see the staircases for the Mushroom for the Prince Peach Castle. And... The Mushroom Kingdom. You can see the one show scene, or I guess there's two show scenes for Yoshi's Adventure. One's kind of like the load area, but the one actual show scene is being constructed, and that's where the pyramids are going to be. That is just some steel right now, but uh, this is a very short show scene. Yoshi's more like a people mover for the land and adds some kinetic energy, but yeah, it's nice and has some animatronics and show scenes. It has animatronics indoors and outdoors, so it's quite a lovely attraction. If they could add some power band experiences to the attraction, that would be cool as well. Out of Super Nintendo World and back onto the hub for Starfall Racers now. This massive mega attraction is going to be huge. I mean, look at all those footers. Sure, it's going to be dueling and racing, so that's why there's double the footers, but it doesn't change the fact that this is going to be massive. You can see even see some massive support structures for the ride's tallest hills right over there. Man, this will be zooming over 70 miles per hour as you'll be racing through space. Um, and look, there's a beautiful track right there. Nice symmetry. It's almost like a kind of an honorary honorary replacement for dueling dragons. There won't be any inverge or it won't be it won't be, it won't be an inverted coaster, but it's still a racing coaster, and it will be Universal Orlando's only racing coaster in the resort. To the bottom, you can see a little bit of the How to Train Your Dragon coaster as it goes into one of those final launches. But, moving on to Starfall Racer, you can see the maintenance bays. There's three, four tracks, again, um, there's two for each side, uh, yeah, two for each side, and right next to the station, and then there's a station, then it's going to be the, the launch underneath the station, which is super cool as well. Hard to see it from this photo, but those green supports are abominable, they're huge. Those are massive support structures for massive airtime hills and turnarounds on the back side of the land. This will be a thrill mega speed machine. Not sure how tall this will be, but you can guarantee it'll be going over 70 miles per hour. And it'll be certainly one of the star attractions, especially for thrill junkies at the park, which will be very exciting as well. So... That concludes our epic universe, our massive epic universe update. Look at that, 18 minutes so far. That's crazy. A lot going on here. Are you guys excited for epic universe? Let me know what land or ride you're most excited about, um, or restaurant, and uh, comment down that below. Subscribe for more epic universe and theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.